This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete Haynes online manual at haynes.com. Rear brake pads renewal. Pull the bonnet release lever located by the passenger door sill. Lift the bonnet safety catch and raise the bonnet. Unclip the bonnet prop and use it to secure the bonnet in the open position. Note that there are two positions. Select first gear. Chock the front wheels. Remove wheel trims and slacken the wheel bolts. Raise the rear of the vehicle using a jack. Place axle stands in position. Lower the vehicle onto the axle stands and remove the jack. Undo the wheel bolts and remove the rear wheels from the vehicle. Fully release the handbrake. If there's a wear lip at the edge of the disc, use a large screwdriver to lever the caliper outwards a little to retract the piston. Using a pair of pliers, unhook the end of the handbrake cable from the caliper lever, then slide out the retaining clip and pull the cable from the bracket. Hold the lower guide pin with an open-ended spanner. Then unscrew the guide pin bolt. Pivot up the caliper and secure it to the bodywork or suspension using wire or string. Remove the outer and inner brake pads. Then remove the lower and upper shims. Clean the caliper mounting bracket using brake cleaner and a soft brush. Prior to fitting the pads, Check that the guide sleeves are free to slide easily in the caliper body and check that the rubber guide sleeve gaiters are undamaged. Before new brake pads are fitted, the caliper piston must be pushed back into the cylinder to make room for them. In order to retract the piston, the piston must be turned clockwise as it is pushed into the caliper using a piston retraction tool. Keep an eye on the fluid level in the brake fluid reservoir as the piston is retracted. Remove any surplus fluid with a syringe before it overflows. Fit the new lower shims into place, followed by the upper shims. Apply a very thin smear of high temperature grease to the pad backing plates where they contact the mounting bracket. Fit the outer brake pad and the inner brake pad. Make sure the friction material is against the disc face. Lower the caliper back down into place, then fit the new guide pin bolt. Then tighten the new guide pin bolt to the specified torque. Insert the handbrake cable into the caliper bracket and refit the retaining clip. Then engage the end of the cable with the caliper lever. Depress the brake pedal repeatedly until the pads are pressed into firm contact with the brake disc and normal non-assisted pedal pressure is restored. Check the operation of the handbrake and if necessary, adjust it. Raise the vehicle using a jack. Remove the axle stands and lower the vehicle to the ground. Remove the jack. Refit the rear wheels and loosely tighten the wheel bolts. Tighten the wheel bolts and refit the wheel trims. The chocks can now be removed from the front wheels.